In this tutorial we are going to learn how to unwrap this box with your one snap. One of my subscribers asked me to create this tutorial so I'm creating this. Press X and delete the default cube, click on this plus button, VFX and then motion tracking. Open up your video file, click on sets in frames and then prefetch. This will automatically detect and set the exact frame from your video. Prefetch will gonna create a temporary file for smoother play. Okay now wait for a few minutes for prefetch because it will gonna take some time. And after that go for the output properties and set your frame rate and match it to your video. Okay now click on this track tab, click on this camera and lenses and here you can add the focal length of your camera. If you don't know just leave it like that, don't worry. Follow the next steps click on this match and previous frame this will gonna track the pattern from current frame to the next frame now this time is for adding some trackers you have to find points in your scene and hold control and left click and from the track you can adjust your tracker now press ctrl t for forward motion track and if you are on last keyframe then press shift ctrl t to motion track in opposite direction and you also can go down here and you can click this button for backward motion track and now you have to add as much trackers as you can add hold ctrl and left click and add a tracker and if you want to adjust your tracker then adjust it from the trackers tab that is on your right hand side and this time now we're going to select all of our trackers by pressing a and click on this forward motion track button now instead of doing one by one we did at once now here are some trackers that failed to track the motion now i'm going to select one by one all of them by holding shift we can fix these trackers but for now i'm going to delete these trackers as we deleted some of our trackers we should add some more i'm on frame number one now hold control and left click and add trackers and after completing the extra trackers we are not going to select all of our trackers we will select just the new trackers that we have added and now press ctrl t and again we will delete the distracted trackers select one by one and press x and delete now on the left side click on this alt tab and click on this keyframe it will automatically select the most moving area of your scene and and we'll try to fix the camera motion we also can set it manually now click on this solve camera motion button and i got 1.45 that is not a good solver <laughs> so what we are going to do we're going to add most moving areas manually i know the whole scene is moving a lot but I I have to find the most moving part of the video and I think it's about 50 to 80 so keyframe A 50 and keyframe B 80 now click on this all camera motion button again and nothing happens now click on this clip display button and turn the info on now we have to delete those trackers that has most solving errors now you can see the info by selecting them two point three not a good error sorry mr tracker you have to go now after reading all the high error trackers select all the markers and hit solve again and we have decreased the error hooray okay now after that we have to set up our scene click on this setup tracking scene select three trackers from the ground click on this floor and now press the space our motion tracking is working perfectly hooray okay now we have to go in layout workspace again okay from here press zero for the camera view delete both the box and the plane and now we will go here file append and we will open the collection and then box you can find this file in the description or you can watch my tutorial to create this okay now select the armature and grab these keys almost here okay a bit more on the right side okay i've done something wrong here okay i was not in the pose mode press ctrl tab to go in the pose mode now by selecting all the bones i'm going to grab just these keys here now this box will gonna start opening from here when i snapped great everything is working perfectly now i'm going to select this empty and grab this almost here by pressing g and shift z and rotate by pressing r and z okay now let me see it again great now hold z and go to in render view oh where am i gone from the rendered properties down here from the film click on this transparent now i'm going to disable the bones of our box because we don't need it now i cannot select this empty again and i'm going to make it more smaller press s to scale and g for grab go again in the solid mode now we need a plane here shift a and add a plane scale it up okay now i need the snap tool click on this edge press g z grab it up and hold control to snap it on the lower edge of the box scale up the plane again i cannot press zero for the camera view go to object properties visibility and check this shadow catcher now our plane will be invisible but it will catch the shadow select the light and grab it on the y-axis like this select the box and go to in shading workshop hold z go to in rendered mode and press zero for the camera view click on this edit button preferences and from the add-on section search for node wrangler and turn it on now select this principal bsdf press ctrl shift and t select this texture you'll get the file in the description now press shift a and i'm searching for mix shader put it in between these now press shift a again and this time we are searching for transparent bsdf put it down here now press shift a one last time and i'm searching for light path now i'm going to put it here 
Okay, now grab this shadow ray and put it in the factor and transparent in the shader. Our shadow is gone. Click on this color, select the eyedropper and pick the color of shadow for exact match. Okay, you can see still the shadow is too dark. To fix this, I'm going to increase the brightness until it matches 100%. Okay, go to layout workshop again. Click on this outdoor properties, select the destination folder and file format and select the encoding to MP4. Okay, it's time for render properties. Reduce the samples to 100 and scroll a bit down and you can find motion blur if you want then check and if you don't want then uncheck now press ctrl f12 to render your animation in this tutorial we are going to learn how to unwrap this box with your one snap